Okay. So Artworks Cymru um, is a Paul Hamlin special initiative that's worked with five different pathfinders across the UK to explore how, the, how artists develop practice in participatory settings, as it says there. And Artworks Cymru is the Welsh pathfinder, so it's been led by Welsh National Opera. Um, and, okay, so we've been, we've been looking at participatory arts and community arts practice. Um, and we know that, through the research that we've done, that that makes up quite a large part of the portfolio of most artists. Um, in a recent artwork survey, um, which, um, which surveyed about 800 different artists across the UK, they found out that 46% of them said that over 50% of their turnover was generated by participatory work. That's quite a big amount. The main issues that um, Artworks has been looking at across the last three years are professional development routes, skills that artists have, qualifications and accreditation, um, who's actually in the sector and how do we ensure quality of the work that's happening. So today I'm going to talk about quality a little bit, um, but what is it? That's the question. Well we looked into definitions um, and they range from uh, the standard of something as measured against something else, to fit for purpose, to the degree of excellence of something. So it, there's quite a wide range of definitions. Um, we put our heads together um, as Artworks Pathfinders and all explored different areas. Navigator, uh, which was the membership bodies in Artworks, explored codes of practice and they explored national occupational standards, which you may or may not have come across. Artworks Cymru explored what it feels like from the participants' perspective and Scotland explored factors that might influence how quality is generated. Issues that came up during the research, who decides what it is, um, there's a lack of shared understanding about what it is, it, is it questioning artistic merit, things like that, so lots of big debate. Um, so what does the research tell us that it looks like? Well, in Wales we explored projects from a range of different organisations and we asked the artists involved to tell us what they thought. So there were um, all, um, projects from Sherman Cymru, Head for Arts in South Wales, Welsh National Opera, National Dance Company Wales and Community Music Wales. Um, now, one of the things we know about quality, uh, about um, participatory arts, is it's a dialogical practice, which means that people talk to each other in it, there's dialogue. Everyone involved shares an articulation on, of the intentions and the quality factors of the work. The creative director of National Dance Company Wales' project Scheherazade, which you can see here, said, you have to invest in a quality process, which to me is largely about communication. I mean, huge amounts of it is about explaining and introducing my values and my ways in, and then allowing them to run with it. Um, the other thing about um, participatory arts is it's a situated practice. So, you know, it happens in different contexts. And here's Stacey doing Blooming Voices somewhere in Wrexham. Um, and this was a Welsh National Opera project. Um, and in terms of it being situated, the factors for quality are context-specific and really sensitive. So on our Welsh National Opera project, um, one artist commented, as artists on this project, we must approach every interaction and experience as a unique one. And in these moments, we can learn so much from each other. And there's some of the artwork that was made um, in Blooming Voices. Um, the other thing about participatory work is it's a reflective practice. So everyone undertakes reflection in action to inform and evaluate and improve the quality of the work that they make. In our recent artist survey, 60% of the artists said that having the opportunity to reflect on their practice was crucial to improving their practice. Um, this is um, something that was made on the Made by Hand project um, in Head for Arts in the Valleys. And one of the artists on that project commented, it looks like you're just a natural and you're doing it, but you work really hard to create the atmosphere, to make people feel at ease and to make people feel comfortable. Um, and another Head for Arts artist commented, at the end of the day, never mind all the outcomes and the funding and the delivery, if we're not delivering good art and it's not recognised as being valuable artistically, then we've failed. So this, oh, this is um, Sherman Cymru's project, which was called To Live, To Love, To Be. So this is um, um, some of their youth theatre groups. So overall findings. Paul Hamlin Foundation have pulled all the research together in a massive paper that really I'm not sure you want to read. 
But just to give you some of the overview conclusions, they came up with the idea that it's a shared responsibility for quality between all the people who are making a project. It doesn't just happen. You need to embed awareness and attention to it within the project. And it's about dynamic, continuous quality improvement. So these findings, as I said, have been laid out in a set of papers that have been published by Paul Hamlin Foundation. Um, and over the next, um, the research projects that they're doing are coming to an end now, but over the next couple of months they're going to start an advocacy campaign. In Wales, this is another Welsh National Opera project that happened in the Valleys a couple of years ago, but in Wales we're talking to people about what we found um, through the research in these putting it into practice sessions that are happening round Wales. And we're also planning to apply for some more money from Arts Council Wales to look at rolling out some of the ideas. So what does all this mean to you guys? Um, so this might be making total sense to you, or it might be making no sense whatsoever to you, and I understand that. And I'm here tonight really to say over to you, you're the artists who are doing the work on the ground, um, and you need to know um, what, quali what creating quality means to you. So there's a set of questions that I've put for tonight that we're going to um, now split into some groups and just talk about. Um, I'm going to just um, see if you can do some talking amongst yourselves about that, just to reflect on what quality is in your practice and how you develop it. And um, then hopefully we can come back and have a, a wider discussion. There we go. <laughs> Breakneck speed at Pizza Kucha, all of that. <laughs> Completely lost, or, or, or does it make any sense? <laughs>